Hi guys, welcome to 365 Optimal Health and Fitness. Right now I'm going to show you uh, how to con rack, do sitting jobs, uh, sitting on the tables, driving in the cars, getting stuck in the airplanes. Uh, it gives us a lower back pain because our deeper abdominal muscles, they get super tight and strong and our lower back muscles, they get weak. So we need to con rack that so we will avoid uh, some lumbar spine injuries or lower back pain. So. If you have a sitting job or driving job, this is a must do for you. In general, everybody should do it because as a human, we tend to sit quite a lot, at least seven, eight hours a day. So I use a, a resistant band to pull my uh, hip down. I'm gonna lay down on the bench. I'm gonna put my heel on this bench. I'm gonna put my back on the other bench and I'm gonna drop my hip down, which is gonna pull my hip down and I'm gonna push it up. So here is the exercise. We're gonna lay down here. Position ourselves. Make sure you only put your heel on the bench, not all the way to your calf because it's gonna take away from the exercise a little bit. If your head is sticking out from this bench a lot, you can always use something like a small stool or small bench or extra pad to support your head. What I'm looking for is here, I'm gonna drop my hip down to floor as much as I can, like this, and then I'm gonna push it up and then stay on the top. But the technique is extremely important. So when you're on this level, please touch your abs and check it. Your abs has to be completely relaxed and soft, jiggly. If your abs are tight, that means you're using the wrong muscles again. You have to work on that as a first of all, train your nervous system a little bit to let it go in the front so your back is gonna start gaining a strength. So most of people, when they have a develop a very bad patterns, when they do this exercise, when they come up, I touch their abs, oh, they're squeezing their abs. That's completely wrong pattern. That's why you have a lower back pain. Because of uh, you develop a wrong neurological patterns, which means you're using a wrong muscle for different uh, wrong movement. So here is the exercise. I'm gonna drop my hip down, which is the shortening of my psoas major muscle, uh, lumbar stabilizer muscle and a hip flexor muscle, psoas major is. Drop down, as much as down. And from here, push through your heels and your back, come up and stay here. And if you want to progress over the time, you can always put more weight here, dumbbells, kettlebells, Bulgarian back, or more thicker resistant bands. You can set up something similar to this at your office, in your uh, garage, in your own gym, or at your uh, uh, bigger gym that you go. Similar setup. Every gym has a bench. Every gym has, has uh, steps like this. Down. This is your rest, relaxing, come up, work. Down, all the way down. Try to drop your hip as much as you can. Range of motion of this exercise, very important. And up. Again, one more uh, area I wanna take your attention. Do not push your hips too much high because it's gonna make it worse. You're gonna contract your lower back muscle, which is overextension in your lower back. That's gonna cause a lower back pain again. So you wanna always keep your lower back straight and nice and then soft abs relax when you're on this position and try to maintain this. Sometimes I put like 20 pounds on my client's hips and I tell them keep that position about a minute. You know, of course it's not easy but you can work your progress up to that level and eventually your front and back is gonna be balanced. One more last time, drop it down. With the exhale come up and make sure your abs are soft, not activated. So that's the way you can make sure that you're doing this exercise right, and that's the way you will avoid having a lower back pain. Thank you.